So here we are at Town Hill Loch, Loch, not Loch, um, and it's a miserable wet, damp day. So of course everyone's out in the loch today, which is great because we like to see people. Yeah, so we're gonna have a walk around the loch, check out what Town Hill's got to offer. Here we have the orchard. All the apples have been nicked to make cider for the locals. Oh, giant hogweed. It burns. I think we've lost Ginger Man. A little good luck charm. How about them apples? <laughs> Look at them apples. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. A family day out at Town Hill Lock. We've got here, Mark. Shh, we've got you. Right, guys, quiet, don't panic. Shh. We've got you. Right, what well, we've got here, we're stepping into the dangerous territory of the Buckfast Bubble. Shh. They don't bite. It doesn't seem to be scared by me. No, it's not scared. That's okay. You got it, man. <laughs> you got Put it. Up a little fight. But I got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Mark, what's his name? <laughs> Tell us his name. Here we have Gary Litter. <laughs> Think about this the next time you order duck from the Chinese. Bread's not good for ducks. Don't give your duck bread unless it's wholemeal. Say that again, bread's not what? Bread's not good for ducks or animals. Is it not? No. That's why I say, please do not feed any of the birds. Bread, white bread, rice, chips or other human foods do not provide proper nutrition and can lead to vitamin deficiencies and illnesses in other birds. And things like rice and white bread can also make birds a bit more too buoyant than they should be mm. and they can end up flipping upside down. Well, you learn something new every day. Be swan. Be swan. You should be swan. It doesn't look big on camera, it looks like it can fit in my hand. The swan! The swan's got my finger! But anyway, no baby ones. All the babies are out today.
Please refrain from smoking in children's play there. Oh, look at this. Tango's long mining history can be traced back through the centuries to the first official mention of mining in this area in the year 1291. However, we had very little left to indicate our mining roots. Tango Colliery and Mirko Col Colliery both work close in this area and each had numerous pits, so the area surrounding and including our village, park, loch and woods is peppered with old pit shafts, filled in and covered over long ago. Town Hall Community Council decided to create a garden dedicated to the men, women and children who worked and sometimes died in the darkness of the pits beneath our feet. My name is Ian Patterson and I'm 11 years old. I have worked in my pit since I was 6 years old. My father was killed last year when a lump of blue fell on him in the pit. So now I work to keep my mother and sisters. I would like to go to school but we need my wage to buy food. I carry up to 300 weight of coal on my back up the ladders to the surface. It is hard and sore work. The coal is in a large basket on my back with a strong strap around my forehead. The gaffer puts a big bit of coal on the back of my neck Keep my head down so that won't spill the coal. There's only one Willie Ledo. He does the shop at Ledo. He's got so much cash. He has a moustache. Willie Ledo is a legend. Oh. Push me. And then just touch me, till I can get my satisfaction. Push me, and then just touch me, till I can get my satisfaction. Satisfaction. Oh no. It's stuck me. Look here we are, just wandering around Town Hill. Um, up the back of Dunfermline, a place I've not really thought much about. I've been to the lock before. Um, I know it does water sports and stuff. I've even played football over here, but I've never taken the time to really take Town Hill in. Beautifully restored park here. Uh, and we've even got the, the Miner's History experience, which for me gives that emotional connection to Town Hill. It gives you a story and it's really, um, yeah, it's really put Town Hill on the map for me in Fife. Really nice place. And yeah, we've got a sport area for basketball. We've got bearded bams picking up litter. We've got Liam on security. I mean, there's even a place to learn to ride your bike on the road, which is great. So yeah, I would say, thumbs up Town Hill! <laughs> <laughs>